So, so what is the future of flight? We, we've recognized that, that there's many things machines do better than humans. But when you look at sort of you know, commercial, commercial air travel, for example, what is the role of a, of, a, of a pilot, if any? The role of a pilot in today's world is primarily, and I get a lot of hate mail, so you know, if you feel the need to email me, just I'm, never, I'm not going to respond. Uh, <laughs> is to monitor the system. I mean, this is really, this is true of fighter pilots and it's true of commercial pilots. You're there to monitor in case anything goes wrong. The state of the art today is that a plane can basically fly itself. And then, as recently exp uh, that occurred here in New York, when something happens in the bird strike, Chesley Sullenberger was able to take over. But, and that's when he was really important in these times of ex uh, extreme emergencies. But for the most part, your pilot is monitoring waiting for something to happen. And in fact, what's, what's problematic about that, and we see it occasionally pops up in the news, the pilots are getting bored, they're potentially falling asleep, playing on their laptops, tweeting, sorry, uh, <laughs> texting, you know, I mean, it, it is a problem. And, and it's, not, it's a problem not because these pilots are unprofessional as the FAA worries, they're just humans. Pilots are humans like all of us, and when we're working with highly automated systems and there's not a lot to do, we're gonna find something to take our attention away. So, so the classic uh, co comic strip is that the factor of the future was going to be, you know, is gonna involve a, a man and a dog, and the dog's job was to keep the man away from the machines. Um, but that's, we have two pilots right now, and this is two pilots who have basically nothing to do on, on, a, on a normal flight. That's right, and you'll be happy or alarmed to know that there's actually a government-sponsored project right now looking to go from two to one. And you know the expectation is in the future that FedEx and UPS and the cargo planes, they will become UAVs faster than we all realize, but it won't happen in this country first because of our regulatory problems. It's gonna happen overseas. And then I think once we start to get shamed a little bit in terms of other countries making more money than us in this area, then we'll jump into that game. And then of course the, the question, the follow-on question is when will commercial aircraft be unmanned? And I will tell you that there's no such thing because you're always gonna need somebody on board to take care of unruly drunk passengers. And so the, the unmanned passenger aircraft isn't really a possibility, but who is doing what on the plane? I mean, we could envision a, a time where the lead flight attendant was also the lead pilot, right? Do you need somebody in the cockpit all the time? Is there, is there a set of skills that, that could be passed amongst the crew? And what about giving air traffic controllers more power? These are all research issues that are being looked at right now.